WWE has a boatload of talent between Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and soon the UK show. But there are still wrestlers not in WWE that the company should try and get their hands on soon. My name is John and these are 5 wrestlers WWE needs to sign before the end of 2017. Leo Rush stands at 5'6 and weighs in at 160 pounds and really looks to have a lot of potential. He's only 22 years old and has an incredible arsenal of hard-hitting kicks and he just has this mean look on top of his quick reflexes and ability to fly high. While he has only been wrestling for about two and a half years, but if booked strongly, I really think he could get the fans behind him in a similar way that fans are behind the likes of Asuka or Goldberg and maybe go on some big winning streak. Now, it would make sense for the WWE to not sign him right away to give him more time to get his name out there and even become a safer worker within the ropes. However, he has such an intimidating presence in the ring that I think he could at the least be seen as a force to be reckoned with and deserves a tryout. Ricochet has a ton of potential when it comes to the WWE. With the fact that he has two personas, when you take into account that he is, well, at least I think he is, I'm pretty sure he's Prince Puma, right? Personally, I'm not too big of a fan of his mic work, which is why it's a great option for WWE as they could either sign Ricochet or Prince Puma, and to be honest, I'm not sure. Who do you think WWE should sign? Either comment Ricochet or Prince Puma, or neither. But seriously, his in-ring work and his physique as well as his finesse are something that should not be overlooked. Will Ospreay is another name that has caught the eye of fans worldwide. Many wrestling promotions have been interested in the aerial assassin, such as TNA, Evolve which he was offered a contract by Paul Heyman of all people, and he has even been mentioned by the likes of Triple H. He is a hot commodity and is an incredible ring performer for only having about 5 years of experience. Osprey could easily climb to the top of the cruiserweight division, then integrate his way into other title pictures from there. A name that pro wrestling fans as well as WWE fans are familiar with is Zack Sabre Jr. Known as the Technical Wizard, Sabre Jr. has a wide variety of submission maneuvers along with some pretty hard hitting strikes for a guy near 180 pounds. Sabre was showcased in WWE's Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and he was expected to be at the very least in the finals, but was surprisingly eliminated in the semifinals, and this was reported to have been the case because he did not wish to sign with the company. Sabre has the right to feel like he is more than a cruiserweight, as he is currently the Rev Pro British Heavyweight Champion, PWG World Champion, as well as the Evolve Champion. I've also got some honorable mentions as well, which include the Young Bucks and Matt Riddle. There isn't really a whole lot to say when it comes down to who has the best matches. Kenny Omega has been one of the top talents in New Japan and has captured the attention of people worldwide with this 6 star match with Kazuchika Okada. Omega is one of the most talented performers on the microphone and has such an out there, bizarre personality that fans can't help but love. I really feel like Omega could easily become one of, if not the, top guy in WWE. And these were 5 wrestlers WWE needs to sign before the end of 2017. I hope you're all having a great day, thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more wrestling videos.